Right, this uh, Dan Hiscoke come over from the UK. We gotta get up, get over to the beta testing. So that's us. Gonna be a good weekend. Are you, are you excited? Yeah, look, there it is. I mean, I just see a tractor. <laughs> it's going to be like running a Tough Mudder for the first time because we have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. This is nuts. So I signed up for Worlds 2013 prior to ever running a regular Tough Mudder. Started working out a little bit, started running, started doing the bike, started to watch what I was eating. And in the course of a year, I lost over 100 pounds and I knocked out 45 miles and like 275 obstacles. If I can do that, I can basically challenge myself every day and just go at life, you know, full force. Dom is one of several Legionnaires that we've invited to beta testing. The final testing ground for our 2017 so new obstacles. Coming out. Um, my name is Eli. I started here designing courses and then moved into the team that designs obstacles. We invite the Legionnaires because they know our courses just as well as our designers. Well, almost. And they know our obstacles better than anyone out there. They're the perfect testing group to give us open and honest feedback about the new obstacles. Tell us what you think and tell us like what's good, what's bad, what's too hard, what's too easy. What you tell us about these obstacles today is going to very much affect the decisions we make on what we bring out next year. What we're focusing on this year is bringing back a little of the toughness to Tough Mudder next year. You know, some of those classic obstacles that are really upper body challenging, mentally challenging. Uh, so we've been going after height, confined spaces, uh, you know, trying to target some core fears and add some things that are actually really challenging. We do have the winner of the International Obstacle Design Competition, the International Man of Mystery, Daniel Hiscoke. Yeah. Dan Hiscoke is another Legionnaire and is also the winner of the inaugural Obstacle Design Challenge with his obstacle called Ladders of Success. So he designed an obstacle called Ladders of Success, which we have, we have some code names for some of the obstacles. That one we have as Banana Split. He designed that obstacle, he won the competition, so we flew him out, he's from the UK. That's another cool part about this, is not only are you guys coming and testing them, but designing them as well. Oh, crazy. Like, wow. You just can't get through it, but then you just fight through and everyone's cheering you on, it feels so good. The beauty of our testing approach is that it involves the Tough Mudder community, which is the very essence of our event. The idea of helping people up was my kind of ethos behind the design. You approach the ladders, which are on a fulcrum. It's supposed to be biased so that the uh, once you put weight on one side, the ladder's obviously going to tip. So you need your fellow mudders to pull down on the ladders to get up on the platform and, and up. Come stand on the edge with me. Once again, our Legionnaires proved to be invaluable to our beta test. We can't thank them enough for their dedication and passion for Tough Mudder. The Tough Mudder community is like nothing else I've ever seen. Everyone strives to do their best and support others to achieve their best as well. In four months, we'll be in Vegas putting these obstacles through the ultimate 24-hour test, their final tune-up before the 2017 debut. Next up, World's Toughest Mudder. <laughs>